So first of all, I would like just ask you to do CL and a dollar sign. It's okay. Just do like that. All right. So and you run it right now. And uh, start without debugging. We got the dollar sign. Okay. Now we are going to do the for loop for that. All right. Tell me how many dollar sign I need to put. Four. Okay. So type four. Type four. Four. Tap over. Is that okay? Change the size t to i integer, and change this to four. That's all. Is that okay? And put this thing here. Control X. Oh, sh put this thing here. Is that okay, everybody? All right. So now let's run it right now. So build it. Okay. And start without debugging. All right. So I got four right now. I need a second line. I need a second line. So, uh, if I do second line like that, all right, uh, then um, and you won't get it. This is not answer, and also it's very lame. Okay. So number one, you got a dollar sign. Okay. So notice that's not good. So I know I need to use another for loop. So this is how you do another for loop. Okay, type four again. Okay, and tap over. Integer, and don't put uh i again. Put j. Is okay. J. All right. So this is two row, right? Put two. It's okay. Put like that. All right. So you decide which one should be inside which one. Is the first one inside here or this one inside the first one? Hmm? The first one. Yeah, that's right. So you cut it, Control X, and cut it. So that means I do one row, one row. When I finish, I do a second row, and here I do a column at time. Let me run it. Ideally, it should be okay, but you probably don't get the correct answer. But I know you are smart, and you can tell me why I don't get correct answer. Well, I still get a start. Can you tell me why? Because I finished first row. I finished my first row. I need what? I need to press enter to help me to go to second line. Is that right? How do you press enter in C plus plus? Is that right? So this is for my row. My each row, I'm going to I'm going to draw four dollar sign. After that, I'm going to press uh enter. So let me run it with you right now. So I have a uh, two rows, and each row has uh uh each row has four dollar sign. All right, so let me ask you, if I want it to be, um, you know, what happened if I want it to be um, like this way? And you, you tell me what should I do. Now, um, if I want it to be like this, pound sign, one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two. If I want to do like that, can you tell me what should I do here? This number should change to what? Should I change it to four? Um, yes. And this number should I change it to two? And this should I change it to pound? Let me run it one more time with you. So I build it. And I start without debugging. Is that right? So the first for loop uh, is your row. 
The second loop is your colon. All right. So, what kind of question we use double for loop? Easy, maybe theater seats, right? We have anything we are do two, two dimension, and we are or times table. We use a double for loop. Okay.